Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm back. I'm back. I hit at the dumpsters again. Finally. Finally. I'll call it a hit. It was a good hit. I'm happy with what I got. I got a pretty good score. But I also wanted to update you guys fast. First off, I should say if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe. We're back in the dumpsters finally guys. Finally. Hit that subscribe so you don't miss the adventures. We really greatly do appreciate it. But our updates. The kitten, the little kitten I posted about that had been thrown from the vehicle, she had went with the rescue for the last four or five days. I was supposed to be getting her back today. She had a really bad seizure last night. She had been improving. She was walking a lot better. She was starting to go to the bathroom on her own. Things were really improving. And last night she had a really bad seizure. Now she's not eating. She's like, the food's dropping out of her mouth. They don't know if it's something neurological from the seizure. They don't know if she's just giving up. They don't know what's going on. So she's not coming back to me now. They're keeping her for the time being to see if they can figure it out because they don't want to give her to me and have her pass away instantly because my heart can't take it again. My heart just cannot take it again. So sad update for her. Hopefully she does start to improve. Um, I'll again put the link for their wish list in the description if anyone does want to help this rescue out They def definitely can use any help that is provided um, That is the main update I had Now we'll dive into what we found. I'm gonna run the clip now for big lots Stay tuned. They have so much heavy stuff on top of everything. They do have these totes Which I'll take but there's a lot of heavy stuff on top of this. This is really heavy, but I did find some chips. There's some more stuff down here. This mushroom steak, it's just defective, but we'll check it. Because you never know. There's some Triscuits. There's more stuff, but there's soap on some of this. Like, they, they poured soap over it, or the soap leaked, I'm not sure. Some Paw Patrol. So I don't know if I'm going to take everything, just because of the fact that some of it could have soap in it. Craisins. Today is their garbage day, so I think I just caught it at the right moment where they still have stuff to grab. I don't know if they poured soap or if soap spilled. It's hard to get to everything here, guys, because there is a lot of heavy stuff all on top of here. Um, all this stuff is really heavy. And there's a lot of Triscuits back there, if you can't tell. So there's a lot of those back there. Um, I'm not going to take them all because we don't really eat those a lot. So it's stupid for me to dig forever trying to get to them if we're not going to eat them. Plus, I know this is garbage day for them, so they will have the garbage truck coming soon. So I don't want to be out here too long. This is Romano cheese and honey. I've never had those kind. There's some ice cream away. very hard to get into that though because this stuff is all heavy you can't really move it Go around they threw away like a sunshade but you can see the bent poles and I don't feel like trying to dig those out because it's just very un underneath everything and heavy but they did throw that away this is probably some sort of furniture they destroy all their furniture they always do I'm going to try to get this fan, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it because of everything that's on top of it. Um, but hey, it's something. I'm happy. We found something. We will take that. We will take that. It's better than what we've been finding lately, guys. Okay, everyone. So you just saw that clip. You saw what I got at Big Lots. Had to think about what store it was. Big Lots. They paid out pretty decent. Finally, guys, we're back. It's great. We're in business. But you saw we got the two totes there that do have cracks in the back corner. But those are good for just storing stuff we get out of the dumpster. So not a bad find. I can never complain about that. Then 
we got these two bags of the cheddar rice crisp those are actually really good those were just past the sell by date in june so not that old um 325 each normally in the store so that's pretty cool i think it was june let's double check let's double check yep june 8th 2020 right there's the date but two bags of the cheddar quaker pops then we had one bag of the sydney gluten-free buffalo wing pieces those were may 30th 2020 so again not that far out of date so that's not bad then we also did get a bag of hazelnut m ms don't know what the date on that is um february 2020 so those are a little bit past but they're still fine they're fine we got a bag of these cheese and peanut butter paw patrols sorry I had to take that phone call but again there's the keyboard cheese and peanut butter paw patrol crackers those are may 2020 so not bad those are normally a dollar fifty then we got some twist kit thin crisp romano cheese and honey two dollars a box those are um june 6 2020 let's say can't see on the one that's ripped a little bit kind of hard to read it then we got two big boxes one small box of the Trisk kit original with sea salt june 2nd 2020 so there's those three boxes and there's one bag of the craisins dried cranberries almond almond snack cluster um may 18th 2020 so not bad then i did go by home goods i didn't get a clip of getting the stuff out but there is this tote that they're on top of i love these totes i love these totes nothing's wrong with it it's one of the store totes it's a rather large size one awesome tote and there is this package of plates there's three plates there was one that was broken that i did throw back and a three pack of the lighters those are nice to have so not bad i'm gonna run the clip now from petco my other place i scored today i'm extra excited about this one petco was really good okay, to me we are at petco and i'm excited look at that cage it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it it's a cloth cage Let's see if i can't get it totally fine that looks totally fine that is awesome that is awesome so now that you saw petco we got the cage that you had seen it's a soft-sided cage this had been technically broken but it was just the zipper came off its track i fixed it it works everything else is fine so that was a cool find the cat tree is missing the base but it's got the scratch post so you can put a new base on it nice for the rescue the rescue can utilize that or i might even utilize it for cheetos sorry had a car go by i did this outside for a change trying to change up scenery and car went by this was the only reason i got that cage back i'll run that clip now so as you guys saw i found that dog cage i was trying to get it to fold down there and i could not get it to fold down apparently it does fold down or it broke i'm not sure We'll have to figure that out when we take this all down. But my little uh, shout out here is make sure you have rope in your car. Because if something like this happens, you can at least tie it up. Um, I found this in the dumpster with the cage. Only reason I had something to tie it up with. So otherwise I would have probably had to leave it because I couldn't figure out how to fold it. But I'm going to take that down, see if it broke or if it just folds and I didn't figure it out there. And then we're going to show you everything else that we got. So... This was in there, thank God, because otherwise this cage I wouldn't have gotten back, even though it does fold down. So, that's a good thing. This is actually a Christmas gift bag. It was a holiday gift bag. $35 value. Woo! But, yeah, merry and bright, it's Christmas. Comes with a little basket, a Santa stuff, stuffy, a little teething thing, and a rope. My dogs will enjoy that. They'll destroy this Santa almost instantly. But hey, that's a nice little gift bag. And then there was this bowl. Cute little pink bone bowl with the gripper at the bottom. Nothing wrong with it. Honestly, these are the better bowls to use for dogs. You don't want to use plastic because plastic tends to give them those blisters on their face. So these are actually really good bowls to have. I might give this to the rescue though because I don't need it. So I might give that to them for the cats. 
Um, and then the last thing, I found a half bag of Taste of the Wild dog food. So, not a bad day at Petco at all. Not a bad day in general. Not a bad day in general. Since I'm out here, I figure I'll do a fast update on the garden. Um, we're finally starting to get some produce. These peppers here, um, there's a little pepper, I thought, on this one. Yep, oh, there, cayenne. There's a cayenne pepper. And there's flowers on all of those. Our lettuce is still doing really good. Then we have flowers on these. I don't see peppers forming on those ones yet. But we do have a little pepper on this banana pepper. And a little pepper on this banana pepper. And then we have a little bit bigger of a pepper on this banana pepper. So those are all flower or getting peppers going. Those are all doing really well. Um, we got flowers going on our tomatoes back there. Not bad. Flowers going on those banana peppers. So we're starting to get some produce. So I'm excited about that. Figured I'd show you how the garden was doing. Fast little update.